player headed on by Murphy from McGoldrick. One on one, edge of the area. McGoldrick now inside the box for two nil. He's still got the ball. He shoots into the corner, and that's a fabulous goal. What a strike from David McGoldrick. Gordon Greer just couldn't handle him. He went to his right, he went to his left, then he struck it as sweetly as you like, left footed, it arrowed into the corner of Kushak's net. David McGoldrick's now on for a hat trick. 24 minutes gone. Thank We're into the added on time at the end of this game. Hunt in, and there's a fantastic goal from Tommy Smith. The corner kick in from Hunt, and it was a flying left footed volley from the centre half. As good a finish as you will see all season. It's just a consolation goal for Ipswich Town. But my word, what a consolation goal. Yeah, you're right. It's a consolation goal, but it is a super goal from a player who is very, very good at going into the opposition penalty area and making things happen. It's normally with his head. On that occasion, he's sort of, he's sort of on it. He's just a, a volley, you know, low. Williams with a bit of a reshape of the Ipswich Town team. Williams on the ball. He gets to the dead ball line. He's done well, and he knocks it in. Looking for Murphy, who crouches and heads into the goal. That's an excellent goal from Ipswich Town. Murphy jumps on the back of Williams to celebrate because the little Welshman was the creator. Ipswich Town are breathing space. They celebrate with their supporters. All 1800 jubilant. It's Brighton nil. Ipswich Town two. Beautiful run. That's what he can do. Sort of. He gets hold of the ball. He can twist and turn. He come all the way up the Brighton byline and then just dink the ball in. And it was a lovely little header by Daryl Murphy. He just ne needed to get the accuracy on it. And he did that, and it's just gone into the far corner. Super goal, game over for me. I think we'll see another sub substitution coming. As you say, I think uh, Johnny Williams will come off now, and Tyrone Mings will be brought on for his aerial ability. And Williams over this free kick. Play short to Williams. He shoots. What a goal! Johnny Williams with a screamer! His first Ipswich Town goal! Boy, is he enjoying the celebrations! Boy, does he deserve them! He's been fantastic since he arrived from Crystal Palace and he's got Town level in this game. There's a standing ovation around all four sides of Portman Road. He deserves it. It's Town 1, Derby 1. That's an absolute cracker. He's been played the ball short. He's carried it infield about 10 yards. He must be 35 yards from goals. There's a packed penalty area. He's hit it only... With a corner kick. It's only their second of the match. Left footed and it comes. There's a chance and there's a goal! Ipswich Town take the lead! And it's Christoph Berra! The centre-halves just won't stop scoring goals! Portman Road explodes! Can Ipswich Town take three points off third place Derby County and continue this push for the playoffs? We're into added time. They lead the Rams 2-1. Well, it's a marvellous header. It's uh... <laughs> Anderson. Oh, Anderson! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! To give Ipswich the lead. Beautiful curling efforts. Beyond the reach of Smithies, and Ipswich looking to keep their home to the playoffs alive. It's hooked away by Keegan. The tackle there between Mings and Duffy. In goes Tamas. He's caught late by Hyam. The referee says play on. Doncaster effectively down to 10 men. Mings with the ball into the box. It's Williams. Williams shoots. It's deflected. And might come to Chambers! The captain leads by example! Portman Road goes crazy! Luke Chambers smacks it into the net. And a couple of minutes after Doncaster scored the equaliser. It's the skipper who puts Ipswich Town back in front with the third goal of the game. It's Town 2, Rovers 1.
Yeah, it's a great goal, but I think the Doncaster boys are quite rightly appealing for a foul down the left touchline. They feel their player was stamped upon, but one team got on with it, the other team didn't. And the town worked the ball across the box, ball in. Luke Chambers, that's a fantastic position. All the play on the left-hand side.